These are the top five laptops that I would personally put my money into heading into 2024. In this video, we're gonna talk through the features and functionality of each laptop, why I think they're such a great value, why these are the best bang for bucks that I think money can buy, and how I would use each of these in my daily workflow to help you pick the right one. Now, I just came out with my best lineup videos for 2024, and in that, I talk about which laptops I think are the best for specific uses. However, I personally would not buy each one of them. I personally don't think that every one of them would fit my rigorous standards of what laptop that I would personally spend my money on. So that's why I wanted to come out with my personal top five picks. First laptop I want to look at is the Lenovo Yoga 7i. If I were looking for a laptop as a graphic designer, digital artist, or photographer, and I was on a slimmer budget, right now this laptop is on sale at bestbuy.com for $549. Now this is the little brother of the Lenovo Yoga 9i, and what I love about this laptop is the two-in-one capabilities. It's going to have a great touch screen. It's going to have a large trackpad, a 16 by 10 inch display, color accurate at 100% sRGB, and this is a very durable laptop. This is a laptop that my children use for their schoolwork, as well as enjoying some different content and shows in the evening when we're winding down, and it is so durable. They have dropped this, tossed this. Right here, there's some sort of stain. I don't know what that is. It's like some sort of goop. But the laptop continues to plug along and give them great performance. Now this is a great laptop for digital artists as it does react very well with the pen. It's got great touch sensitivity. This is a 2.K display. Another thing is you have fantastic option buttons here on the side to flip through your performance settings. You have a fingerprint login, jump into your brightness and your audio controls, as well as you can quickly blur your background while in a video call with the touch of a button. Now, speaking of the audio, this has incredible Bowers and Wilkins speakers. It has a speaker bar between the keyboard and the display. It has audio coming out of the side of the laptop and the bottom. So you have a very immersive audio experience with the 7i or the 9i. Both are great models and both have very similar build and form factor. One is just a little bit better price. That would be this 7i. Now, the next thing I want to take a look at is the Apple MacBook Air 15. This is my go-to on-the-go friendly laptop. It is so thin. It is so light yet it has a massive, beautiful, glossy display with a massive trackpad and a very, very friendly keyboard. I absolutely love this laptop. It's got the full screen reaching up to the edges of the panel. It has the little notch here. Some people don't like the notch. I personally don't mind it. This is an incredible laptop for graphic designers, digital artists, and photographers. And more recently, I took this on my trip to CES 2024 and edited all of my 6K footage during the event on this laptop on the go. So I went to a coffee shop, jumped into my editing workflow, had about 95% battery, edited for over three and a half hours, and worked on some thumbnails. And when I left the coffee shop, I still had 45% battery life left. So this thing is not only powerful, but power efficient. And for me, I have a desktop PC at home, so I'm not somebody who's interested in an M3 Pro or M3 Max. I have all the performance I need for my desktop PC, but I want an on-the-go, efficient, yet powerful laptop that is super easy to carry and has great battery life. That, to me, is the MacBook Air M2. Now, the next up on the list would be the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14, the 2022 and the 2023 model. Let's talk first about the 2022 model. That model was equipped with the Ryzen 9 6900 HS and an RX 6700S GPU. This is the best 3D modeling bang for buck laptop that money can buy to this day. Whether you threw it Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, Revit, SolidWorks, it tore through it. That Radeon GPU had no problems with SolidWorks, which historically for gaming GPUs and more affordable laptops, using say the RTX 3050, 3060, 3070, or even now the 4050, 4060, and 4070, it outperformed all of those at $1,549 at its release. And now if you can find one, that's the question, can you find one? You can find them for $1,000 or less sometimes. So this is the best bang for buck laptop, the Asus Zephyrus G14. Now the 2023 models were great as well, except I wouldn't recommend any of the GPU SKUs except for the RTX 4070 and above. To me, they were underpowered compared to how optimized the RX 6700S was from 2022. Now, I love the keyboard, the massive trackpad. It has a great 
99% sRGB color accuracy screen, and it's very thin and light. It's on the go friendly. It is a fantastic, compact, portable 14 inch laptop with great port connectivity. And if you turn it on eco mode, I've seen this laptop anywhere from nine to 12 hours of battery life. So it's efficient, it's on the go friendly, it's powerful. And for me, the 2022 model, if you can find one, was absolutely the best buy you could make. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is one I actually don't have in the studio with me. However, I got to handle one at CES 2024, and I, without a doubt, would buy one. The reason being is it's a compact, thin and light laptop. It has an RTX 4070. It comes with an OLED display that is 100% DCI-P3 color accurate. It comes with the latest Intel Core Ultra 9 185 processor, and it has 32 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. And on top of all of that, it's $1,999 for the latest tech, it has never before been seen. We've never seen an HP Omen 14. This is a huge deal. And the RGB lighting was incredible. They actually made the print of the keys smaller. So you have this edge that's translucent around all the keys and the RGB shines through beautifully. It's just, it's a beautiful laptop. Now, if you've yet to catch any of my report on Intel Core Ultra from CES 2024, I highly recommend watching that video. I learned so much about the future of AI for creators and what Intel is doing to equip creators with tools inside of their PC. You no longer have to send your creativity to the cloud to have the benefit of AI. AI can take place within your device. You can keep your domain safe and secure within your own laptop. So at the end of this video, I highly recommend checking out my Intel Core Ultra video from CES 2024. You will not be disappointed. And I hope you go watch that. Now, the next laptop I want to talk about is going to be the Lenovo Legion Slim 5. This took over the G14 as my favorite laptop in 2023. Like I said, the G14 for 2022 would definitely be my favorite 14 inch laptop over the past five years. But for 2023, this is the most optimized compact 14 inch laptop that money can buy. Aluminum design, thin and light chassis, tons of port connectivity. You have an SD card reader, so great for creators. You have a nice large trackpad and a simplified keyboard deck. Lenovo's simple Legion layout, really like that. And it comes with an OLED display. So you have a high color accuracy and color gamut range on this laptop. It is glossy. Some people don't like glossy. They prefer matte. I don't mind too much. I really take either one. This one was a glossy OLED display, which makes my colors more vibrant. My dark's darker, the edge is sharper. So overall, I really liked this design. Now the components in this laptop, I actually tested one with an RTX 4050, but it outperformed the RTX 4060 in the G14. And it has a Ryzen 7 7840HS. So actually a lower performance CPU. It outperformed the laptop. Now my biggest gripe with this laptop is the non-upgradable RAM. You can't upgrade the RAM once you purchase it. So I would definitely go ahead if you're considering purchasing this laptop, Get on Lenovo's website and see if you can configure it with more than 16 gigs of RAM and that's what your needs require. Get up to 32 gigs of RAM with this laptop. The one I had was 16, it was good, but 32 of course would have given it even more performance. Even more performance, which is hilarious because I was so blown away by this little compact laptop's ability to perform with more budget-friendly components. So I saw this laptop on sale right now at Best Buy for the non-OLED version for around $1,000. OLED version was still about 1,500. But if you don't care about that extra color accuracy, go ahead and save the money. Check out the Slim 5. Okay, now for the big brother of the Slim 5, we have the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. This to me is the best all around laptop for creators that money can buy. The reason being is the price to performance is incredible. You can get this laptop for anywhere from $1,400 to $1,800, depending on the time of year that you buy it and the sale that it's on. It has an Intel i7-13700H, or the HX if you decide to upgrade to that, an RTX 4070 or 4060. You can get it with 16, 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, and it has a 97% sRGB display. It is the most optimized version of the components that you can find. I've tested this laptop against other ones that would seemingly be more powerful, and it blew them away. It is the best bang for buck overall laptop, in my opinion, that money can buy from 2022 and now heading into 2024. Now I've yet to get my hands on the newest models and test them and compare them to other stuff that's coming out, like the latest G16 or G14. But I would say that I'm very confident this laptop's gonna continue 
to have incredible performance. Now I'm gonna throw in two bonus laptops that I don't wanna to forget to mention. First and foremost, the Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X13. This laptop comes in an integrated graphics as well as a dedicated graphics version. Now, if you're a digital artist, graphic designer, photographer, I would skip out on the GPU, save the money, and go ahead and get the integrated graphics version. It'll cost you about $1249 before sales. If this thing's on sale, you should be able to get it below $1,000. If you want the RTX 4070 version, it's gonna be $2499 before the sale. This thing is incredible. Amazing touchscreen display, flips into two and one. Massive trackpad. They've upgraded it in 2023. It used to be a small trackpad. The click and touch on this is just so soft and feels so good to the click. And then of course, it's so thin and light. It has a sleek design. It's very professional, very dark mode. Beautiful laptop I did not want to forget to mention. It would be the only laptop I would consider replacing my MacBook Air 15 inch on the go setup would be this laptop. Next laptop is going to be of course the Asus ProArt StudioBook Pro 16 OLED. This laptop is rumored to be getting a big upgrade this year. I was at the Asus booth at CES 2024 and they would not tell me what was coming, but they said something is coming, whether it's upgrading this laptop or something entirely new. They wouldn't tell me. I was kind of annoyed, but I love those guys, so I couldn't be too annoyed. So now we're looking at this laptop here. It's been out since 2021, comes with the dial. It is the productivity masterpiece for creators. The only big gripe I have about it, as far as video editors, graphic designers, photographers, and digital artists, is the manual click buttons. I wish that the trackpad was fully clickable. It's not, it's tappable, but it's not clickable. So you have to use the manual click buttons. It is thin and light for a 16 inch laptop, aluminum design, SD card reader, plenty of port connectivity. It is a beautiful laptop that definitely was worth making a bonus spot on the list. Again, check out that Intel Core Ultra video. If you've yet to, you're gonna learn a lot. I learned so much when I was at CES about what it means to have AI for creators moving into the future. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Please use those links if you're gonna purchase. It helps out my channel, keeps it alive, keeps the lights on in here, and I'm so grateful when y'all use those links. I'll see you here in the next video.